In this video, we're going to show you how to take two individual components and, using 3D constraints, merge them into an assembly. Let's begin. To begin, I'm going to move up to Insert and then Component Assembly. We're going to grab the simple cover that I created earlier and click on Open. Part Modeler is going to ask us if we want this to be reference geometry or copy geometry. Reference geometry means all the components have to be in the folder that you're going to open later on for the assembly to work. Copy geometry just duplicates them. I'm going to go with reference geometry and click OK. I'm going to drag the component where I want it and then press Escape. Now I can go and select the next component which is going to be the simple base. I'll move up to Insert component assembly. We're going to grab simple base, click open. We're going to use reference geometry once again, click OK, drag it where I want it to be, and then we'll press escape. To turn these two components into an assembly we're going to use 3D constraints. I'll move up to the constraints icon and select 3D constraints. And then I'm going to move over to 3D constraints and select abutment. This will align the faces of the two components together so we can build an assembly. To begin with I'm going to select the front face of the base and then I'm going to rotate the cover around and select the inside face of it. That will align the components to those faces. Now I'll select the inside of the cover and then rotate the base around to select the face that I want to align it to. Then the final thing we'll have to do is align the two faces of the base and the cover. I'm going to rotate around a little bit and select the top face of the base and then rotate the cover around so I can select the bottom surface that I want to align to the base. Once I do that, my constraints are in place. I'll click on Done. Then we'll change our view to isometric. And we'll fit it to the screen. I'm going to save this assembly as a simple part model. I'll click on assembly. You'll see the components will change to the same color. We'll go up to file and save and I'm going to save this as a part model called simple assembly. Once I click save I'm going to exit part modeler and then open the file in SurfCam. Once I've opened SurfCam, I'm going to go up to the top and click on the Open folder and change my files of type from SCPRT to the Part Modeler file. There's my simple assembly up at the top. I'll click on that and click on Open and we'll bring it into SurfCam.